as the screen before us shares, welcome on this holiest of nights. Welcome to Christmas Eve worship. It is good to see each and all of you here. Uh, I'm Michael Kurtz, the pastor here. If you do not have a church home, we invite you to consider Francis Asbury. We'd be delighted to talk to you about that. Um, just a couple things to uh, remind us. Thank you for practicing. As we say the three W's, and ask us to thank you to say, stay with our face coverage on during the service, except, of course, for the receiving of the, the elements of uh, juice and bread, obviously, for that. But we thank you. I um, want to check in for a moment here with you, make sure everyone that wants has a candle and also have a communion kit, as we've done them now to call them. So does anybody need... Either of these, the ushers can provide. And I think you're taken care of according to your response. Very good. Speaking of our sharing together and responding, I invite you Christians along with me to share together, not just read, but to pray our Christmas Eve prayer. Would you please join me? Dear God, who comes to us in Jesus on this night, we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Let the power of Christ come into our hearts that we may find peace with you forever. Amen. Please go ahead and sing the first Noel. This is a one, two. should be enrolled in the tax list. This first enrollment occurred when Quirinius governed Syria. Everyone went to their own home cities to be enrolled. Since Joseph belonged to David's house and family line, he went up from the city of Nazareth in Galilee to David's city called Bethlehem in Judea. He went to be enrolled together with Mary, who was, who was promised to him in marriage and who was pregnant. And while they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. And she gave birth to her firstborn child, a son, wrapped him snugly and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in, in the guest room. Nearby, shepherds were living in the fields, guarding their sheep at night. And the Lord's angels stood before them. The Lord's glory shone around them, and they were terrified. And the angel said, Don't be afraid. Look, I am bringing good news to you, wonderful, joyous news for all people everywhere. Your Savior is born today in David's city. He is Christ the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a newborn baby wrapped smugly and lying in a manger. 
And suddenly a great assembly of the heavenly forces and hosts was with the angel praising God. And they said, glory to God in heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. And when the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go right now to Bethlehem and see what has happened. Let's confirm what the Lord has revealed to us. And they went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. And when they saw this, they reported what they had been told about this child. And everyone who heard it was amazed, flabbergasted at what the shepherds told them. And Mary committed these things in her memory and, con and also considered them carefully. And the shepherds returned home, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen and beheld. And everything happened just as they had been told. And John, in his gospel, follows up with these words to us. What came into being through the word was life. And the light was the light for all people. And the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness does not extinguish the light. Praise God. Friends, we know about darkness. In our own light, in our own community, in our own world. These are dark days. These are tough times. And we are enduring a lot. And folk, people have down through the ages. But those who have connected and accepted and received the light have been encouraged and been empowered to go through the darkness with the light of Jesus within them and through them. And that's what we're called to do. And tonight is the celebration of, of that light that has come into the world. And John goes on to say, became, God became flesh and moved into our neighborhood. He's with us. The light is available for all who will believe for all who would accept and receive, the light is there for us. The light which is Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. You know, now I hear uh, 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 sometimes to you, and I'm thankful for this, that with the terrible pandemic, I'll hear the analogy, well, we're in a tunnel, but there is, with the vaccine and other things we pray, light at the end of the tunnel, but it's still in a tunnel. I praise, I'm thankful for that, for the gift of science. I'm grateful for that. But let me say to us and proclaim to us, we ain't seen nothing yet if we think a light at the end of the tunnel is something. This is the light of the world that comes into the world at Christmas time now. Thanks be to God, we have that light. It's available. And in the darkest times, I'm reminded, in your life and mine and the world, that light will shine even brighter, even brighter if we keep the faith and as we share that light and that light with others, may it be so. May this Christmas, may you and I ponder anew on the light of Christ, who is the light of the world, and how we might share that light, even this evening, as we receive it again on this holy night, Christmas Eve, the night Christ is born. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we give praise. As we do so, as we give praise and thanks, we have a tradition as Christians, and I'm thankful for it, and that is for the Christ candle that is before us. I would like first the Christ candle, the light of the world. We light it symbolizing Christ in our world, he has come. Christ in our life, he has come to all who receive and believe. I also, friends, and lighting the four candles of Advent tonight. First, the Christ candle in this order, and then we light the candles, as we traditionally call them, the candle of hope, the candle of peace being lit. Think about peace in your life, shalom of God. The candle, which I should have gone here for joy, and the candle of love. Hope and peace and joy and my mass works and love. So we give God thanks for Christ who brings these gifts of hope and peace and joy and love, makes them possible, brings them into our life, even and especially in the darkness. We have that promise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your gifts. 
I invite you, congregation, to look to your handout with me as we share together about this Christ candle, as we share together in this litany of the Christ candle. It gives us an opportunity here to gaze upon the light as we share this. While they were there, the time came for her, Mary, to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger. Tonight, angels far and near sing tender lullabies, well-worn fabric full of years, holds in the warmth of parental love. Animals and shepherds crowd in tight, glowing with adoration, while a muffled cry squeezes out to greet the night. Tonight, and on this Christmas Eve 2020, we have lit the Christ candle for the Christ King. For the Christ King, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Lord of Lords, as He came as a baby and is King of Kings. And now we know He is born and nothing will ever be the same. Thanks be to God. In your name, Jesus, we thank you. Amen. Please stand we're going to sing Go to the World, verse 1 4. Share together now the great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. 
and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. You created light out of darkness and brought forth light from the earth. You formed us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love failed, your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made covenant to be our sovereign God, and spoke to us through your prophets. In the fullness of time, you gave your holy Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Savior. And at his birth, the angels sang, Glory to you in the highest, and peace to your people on earth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son Jesus Christ. As Mary and Joseph went from Galilee to Bethlehem and there found no room, so Jesus went from Galilee to Jerusalem and was despised and rejected. As in the poverty of a stable Jesus was born, so by the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection you gave birth to your holy church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. As your word became flesh, born of woman on that night long ago, so on the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup and he gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, Lord, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts of Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in this service of praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ is died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. And make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the light, the body of Christ, Christ's light to us, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast forever at his heavenly banquet through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty God, now and forever. Amen. <coughs> Friends, I invite us to commune at the same time, simultaneously this evening. If you'll please remove that first layer and take out that wafer. And let us ponder anew on this Christmas Eve what this cost God, cost Jesus, and Jesus giving up his life, his flesh and blood for us. So the body of Christ given for you, let us eat and remember. Thanks and glory and honor be to you, Lord, for your sacrifice and the giving of your body for us, that we might be free, that we might be one, that we might be whole in you. Friends, I invite us to prepare to receive the juice. You'll remove that later. Let us reflect upon and think about what this cost Jesus, his blood on the cross dying for us, that we might have our sins forgiven eternally. On this Christmas Eve, let us receive the blood of Christ shed for you. May we drink. Lord, for your sacrifice, for your eternal love.
boundless love, shown to us once again in this Christ Mass, in this Christmas communion service, in which we remember your giving your body and blood for us, that we might have, we might have life abundant here and now, and eternal forever and ever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we praise you. Amen. Invite us to take a candle, please, and just a, a note of precaution, just to keep us a little safe from any wax. If your candle's uh, unlit, you please be the one that tilts yours and let the person who has theirs light it, hold it straight for you. Uh, at this time, we will uh, light from the Christ candle. The ushers will come forward, and then they will light yours. This year, we will stay in our uh, respective pews and not line up around the sanctuary just for safety precaution this year.
comes into the midst of Bedlam. Christmas in the midst of chaos. Yes, peace in the midst of a pandemic. May it be so. May we keep our eyes on Christ. May we have the eyes of faith. And may the light of Christ shine in and through you and all of us to make this place more just and more merciful. May we do that in Jesus' name. We go out the light, but the light still shines in us through the light of the Lord. Please receive this benediction on this Christmas Eve. Lord, tonight we observe, but we don't merely observe. We celebrate. We thank you for the greatest gift in the world as we can imagine God walking down the staircase of heaven and making the greatest delivery in the world, the Christ child, the holy Jesus, the light of the world. When we were hopeless, and now we have the help and the hope work in our life. O oh, light of Christ, shine in and through us, and may we receive Jesus like never before as we ponder anew what this night means in history. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, go in peace. Amen. Amen. Please wait as the ushers pray to leave. Thank you. <laughs>